Okay, interesting biomechanics of the hip and the shoulder. Both have very similar dimensions in their head. The circumference of both, the hip and the shoulder, are very similar. However, the socket of the hip is very deep and hence the hip bone or the hip and the bones are solidly held together in a deep socket as well as strong muscles designed for weight bearing. Now on the other hand, the shoulder has a very shallow socket which means that for that shoulder to remain stable we need to have our rotator cuff muscles at the front, the top and the back holding the ball in its socket. We use rotator cuff muscles, the subscapularis, the supraspinatus and at the back we have the infraspinatus and the teres minor. Now no matter how strong the rotator cuff muscles are, the orientation of the shoulder blade is crucial. If the shoulder blade sits like this, no matter what the rotator cuff muscles do, the head of the humerus of the arm will slide in the socket. Hence, our rehabilitation strategies are to strengthen the rotator cuff muscles as a synergy, as well as maintain good shoulder blade mechanics on the rib cage. This includes looking at the neck movements, looking at the shoulder blade movements, and treating the tissue both of the neck, of the shoulder blades, and of the shoulder itself.